Looks like I've been crying again. Faye Webster is a 21 year old singer songwriter from Atlanta, Georgia. I've spent the last few days watching all of her music videos, reading interviews with her, and I'm fascinated by this young, talented artist. She recently released her third album, Atlanta Millionaires Club, and I'm just dying to talk about this project, her story, and all the stuff that sets her apart from the rest. Faye has been a musician all her life. She started playing guitar early on in her childhood, she was writing songs at 14, and at age 16 she self-released the Run and Tell LP which was a collection of intimate country and folk songs. With positive reception to the LP, Faye continued to pursue her love of music. She went to a liberal arts college in Nashville where she majored in songwriting. However, Faye realized that she was pretty confident about her musical skills during that time, so she just loaded her schedule full of photography classes and eventually dropped out a little while later. When she came back to Atlanta, she started exploring the rich art communities that you can find in that area. Faye got close with some of the higher-ups at Awful Records, started making connections, and began shooting portraits for a ton of Atlanta's most popular rappers. It's within these pictures that you can really start to see her artistic perspective. The colors are vibrant, the environments are unusual, Everything is kind of surreal, and the foreground and the background blend together seamlessly. These ideas began to show within Faye's music too. She released her first official studio album with Awful Records in 2017, and this self-titled project is a really cool alternative record. Mainly, I'd probably call it a folk album, but Faye's voice is the stuff that country music dreams are made of. There's a sweet little twang to it, and there's this interesting paradox where where her delivery is almost deadpan, but that somehow seems to add volumes to the emotion of it all. After that album, we arrive at 2019's Atlanta Millionaires Club. This was released by the label that Faye is now signed to, Secretly Canadian, and they host musicians like Stella Donnelly and Serpent With Feet, so yes, Faye is in very good company. This project is very serene and rather melancholy. It feels a bit poppier than the self-titled album, with a hint of R&B in there too, but ultimately the best word to use for this music is hypnotic. It puts me in a strange trance whenever I throw it on. When you play this album, the 10 songs and 32 minutes will fly by. It flows together really nicely from front to back. It's rare that you'll hear Faye belting on this album, that doesn't really seem to be her strong suit, but what she has mastered here is this step right between talking and singing that has really grown on me over time. If you take into account a bunch of the ways that I've tried describing her and her art so far, all of these words paint a vivid picture of why I like her delivery. You would need a ton of different comparisons to try and explain what she sounds like. Faye Webster's music sounds like a weird combination of Emmylou Harris and Angel Olsen, Johnny Cash and Aaliyah, Orville Peck and Always. It's something that you can't quite put your finger on. It's unique. Her exact style and how she's telling you these stories is one that I have not heard before. And to speak on that, her lyrics are certainly something special too. Like some of my other favorite projects of the year, her words are direct and straightforward. She also utilizes a stream of consciousness approach which can create some genuinely funny moments on the album too. Atlanta Millionaires Club is a strange, beautiful look into Faye's claustrophobic world. There's a general feeling of sadness, but there's some fun in there too. It's always great listening to a project where you can tell that the artist is willing to give anything a try. There are these little musical quirks that you'll hear, and that's the kind of stuff that'll keep you on your toes. It makes the listening experience more active than passive. For instance, there's this bizarre, ultra-relaxed rap feature from Father on one of the last tracks, and that caught me completely off guard. I'd say my favorite songs on the album are Johnny, Room Temperature, and Hurts Me Too. There's a lot to love with Faye Webster. She's making creative, alternative folk music while also photographing some of Atlanta's biggest rappers. Between different projects, she's always tinkering with her sound, and ultimately she's finding herself through music. I definitely recommend her last two albums, and hey, if you follow her on Twitter, you can see her doing tricks on a yo-yo, so that's cool too.
Hey, thank you for watching that video. Be sure to check out Faye's music. If you want to support the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media at RenshawHS. You can buy my merch, support my Patreon, and thank you again. I'll see you soon.